Hi, it's Tom from Brain Shorts, and today I want to show you a simple way to make a leaf composter out of concrete screen and zip ties. This is going to take you five minutes. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. I just want to say thanks for watching these videos because sustainability works better when there's more of us doing it together. And my goal is to show you simple ways that you can make your life greener and share with your family and friends. Here's the problem I want to address today. When we bag our yard waste, weeds, and leaves and put them on the street, we are most likely paying for that service. And at the same time, we're giving something valuable away. Every time I see my neighbors do that, I think you are giving away free nutrients that could be used in your yard. And to get at those nutrients, all you need is a compost bin. The hawk would agree with me. The reason I, I like using concrete screen um, is because it can kind of give you a architectural element in your yard. I've actually got three of these and you can see them kind of here behind me. They're forming a, a leaf wall, I call it. And I'm using that to block off some space that I use for kind of my work area. It gets a little messy. My wife doesn't like to have to see it. And so I screen it off with leaves, and at the same time, I'm composting them to use as soil after a year or so. There's a nice, even wall of leaves. Let's go take a closer look. So what I have here is three sections of concrete screen that I've bent into L shapes. Each unit is formed by two, and they're joined at the corners by zip ties. Actually, for this particular iteration, I used hanger. You can use any sort of durable wire. And the nice thing about that is that when these are fully composted, I just cut the wire, pull them apart, and remove the compost, put new wire in, and then fill them back with leaves again. So I've got two versions of this here, if you will. You can see my mess back here that I'm hiding from the kitchen window. I've got two that are set up wider, so four squares at the end, and then I've got another one set up that's only one wide. So one square at the end, and then that gives me something that's longer and more narrow. So this actually doesn't compost as quickly because there's not as much mass there, uh, which is kind of nice. So it stays more like that fence that I want it to be for a longer period of time. These, because of the mass, um, will compost down a lot more quickly, which is good too. All right, so there's your tour. Let me show you how to make this. For the job, you'll need two pieces of concrete screen, a 20 pack of zip ties. You can also use coat hangers or any type of durable but bendable wire. These two pieces of wire were actually the core of sparklers, because I save stuff like that, precisely for an opportunity like this. You'll also need a two x four that will reach all the way across the short side of the concrete screen and a pair of wire cutters. Count off the number of squares you want on the short side of your bin, and then lay down the two x four aligned with the wire that will form the corner of the bin. Standing on the two x four, bend the screen into an L. Press from the outside as well. And then individually, pull each bar from the inside to square up the corner. Repeat these steps with the other screen. Once you've made both L's, stand them on their sides and arrange them in a rectangle, short side to long side, just like your geometry teacher taught you. Align the corners and add a zip tie to each intersection. Then clip the excess. If you're using the hanger option, cut the hook off and then clip the remaining length into four relatively equal pieces you'll need two hangers for one corner. Align the corners and bend the hanger from the middle, pulling from both ends for leverage. Twist around the bars to connect them. Keep even pressure on the hanger to keep the loops tight. Clip the ends once four to five loops are completed.
So it's just that simple. Now all I've got to do is fill this thing with leaves and sticks and let it work. Let me know in the comments below if you've had success using this technique. As always here at Green Shorts, our mission is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by not having to pay to get rid of your leaves or to pay for garden soil. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for new Green Shorts DIY videos every Friday.